It's cheers to term two and all its festivities, deadlines, stress, and here's the term three, guys. Cheers. Bring on a term three. I don't want to kill like this, so let me just die right now. This girl. This bush girl. All right. Um, Happy say, filming. Thanks. Say bye to Natalie, everyone. Bye. Bye, guys. So, so guys. <laughs> Happy Easter Sunday. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. Let's do this. Wow, it's really been a whole term. Let's do this. Ah! Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, it is going to be my almost annual, not really annual, but do you know what I mean? Like every time the term is ending, I'm expecting to kind of do this video because you guys really enjoyed my last one. Um, today I'm here by myself and I'm going to be doing the end of term two do's and don'ts for Nottingham Trent University. I am by myself here. I am on my lonesome. Um, it is Easter Sunday so happy Easter Sunday, happy Resurrection Sunday. Let's remember the season and why we celebrate Easter because the risen king has risen. Guys I'm going to basically be sitting down and talking to you guys about how and what and what to do and what not to do in term two as you can tell i'm here by myself if you see my previous one i had like a bunch of us there was loads of us who were talking we were laughing we were, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah everyone's gone home so i'm just here on my lonesome and i'm doing this by myself um as they've all gone home but it is well it is well it is well you just got me today and we gonna talk about everything everything related to time two and how different it was to term one i will be here kind of sharing and dispensing everything i've learned and things to do and not to do in term two if you are coming to nottingham Trent university this year 2021 2022 applicants or are looking to come here it's your firm choice it's your choice you've got an unconditional offer whatnot then i hope this video is somewhat beneficial to you guys as you guys again really enjoyed my last one i hope this video is beneficial to you or helpful to you in any way shape or form make sure you do click the subscribe button down below it is free it's red it says subscribe and we are on the road to 20,000 subscribers and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it hi everyone hi everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video as you can tell by the title i'm going to be doing my kind of annual monthly termly do's and don'ts for that term. Um, I did this last term with a bunch of my friends. You guys really seem to enjoy it. A lot of you found it very beneficial. So I am back here with the term two do's and don'ts. Now, as you can tell, I'm here on my own some. It's just me today. Um, it's actually Easter Sunday as I'm filming this. So happy Resurrection Sunday. The Risen King, you know, you know how it gets you now, it goes. Um, I hope you guys are actually celebrating Easter and remember, you know, remember the reason why we celebrate Easter um, and this time of year. Um, however, yeah, like I said, I am here on my own. Some, most of my friends, pretty much all my friends have gone home for Easter. Um, so I'm here by myself. Go and follow me on all my social medias down below to keep posted as to what I do and what I get up to. And without further ado, let's get into it okay so just like i did last time i have a bunch of notes which i've written down um on my notepad just to kind of keep me on track as to you know what really to do and not to do um in term two shall we kind of give a bit of context and set the preface of what term two kind of kick started off so term two it's the new year, it's new me, everyone is saying this term, we're gonna get serious. Term two started with, you know, Boris announcing that we're in a national lockdown, you know, tier one to, tier, tier ones to four were set in place. Um, we were told if we had packed our bags to unpack them. Um, so yeah, that's how term two really kick started. It was either you were staying home um, from the new year Christmas break, you were staying at home and doing term, most of term two there, or you were making your way illegally back to your student accommodation now i personally i could not stay at home i have no problem at staying at home but i knew that my the like the work that i needed to physically hand in was not on me it was actually in university so i actually needed to come back and come collect it and scan it in and do all that so that was one two i just really liked my own space when you move out or when you move out when you move out in general not just move out to uni when you move out in general you start to really really enjoy your own personal space i mean hey i thought i liked it before but now 
absolutely love my own space um and three i just uh i can't come and kill myself like just really wanted to be back at uni like honestly i was just kind of so ready and pumped for the year our year of victory and i just thought what am i doing at home do you know what i mean Plus, i paid I, let's not even talk about the fact that i've paid for full times rent now some people were getting um refunds some people were um getting like discounted prices some people were getting you didn't even, even have to pay at all but i stay in private accommodation so you don't live there it's fine you still gonna pay us do you know what i mean so i was still paying the full amount i was paying for that term so i was like why am i now paying to not live yeah we're not doing that made my way back to university you guys would have seen on my vlog channel i vlogged it and everything kind of moving back in for time too and yeah most of my friends actually came back some of them came back a little bit later but most of the for the majority of us we were back in nottingham um, i'm gonna start off with dues so guys please listen good and listen hard because this is a uh, kind of at 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 and at to myself things to do when it comes to term two let's kick start it off yeah time management if you guys have seen my kind of how to stay productive or how i remain remain motivated da, 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 if you actually noticed the time period of when that was actually posted that was more later towards the end of term two or kind of three quarters the way into term two um time management honestly term two it's so it felt so swift and so like literally it felt like a blink of an eye and it's done and we're now in term three and we're going into term three but yeah it was it wasn't long but it was it was so because the majority of it was literally online at least term one we kind of went in some days it was kind of half in half out what no i went in anyway some days it was kind of half in half out so we kind of you know you know but this time it's like you kind of met most of your friends you're pretty much like solidified in your friendship groups um i mean you're not really going out because it's a lockdown um and again i feel like the the work load is a lot heavier in such a what feels like to be a shorter period of time um, and i was speaking to my lecturer about this and he was saying that time two is actually the most enjoyable well it should be usually the most enjoyable because you've kind of broken the ice you've kind of gotten into routine you know what's what you know what modules what you kind of know how to use the systems now it's just kind of routine 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 obviously mrs corona stripped that away from us um but it is well time management make sure you're managing your time effectively um and that you're not just was it work smarter not harder type of thing again you know the best of all for us is always great but make sure you're working smarter not just harder like doing these i'm seeing on youtube people do like 24 hours of studying and 11 hours of just studying like if you can do that great <laughs> but me myself i know that i need like some breaks i need some food i need some do you get what i mean like i just need the like to balance it all out so time management is absolutely key and however you decide to manage your time you'll do you all okay? right don't be bullied into a productive um you side of youtube and study tube to come and do 16 hours of no it's not that deep the sun's coming in and out it's spring right so the sun is literally peering in and out of my building so if it um you know the lighting does change again i don't really control the solar system another kind of thing not to do but another thing to kind of bear in mind is um to be willing to meet new people i know obviously first time is kind of you know you break the eyes fresh as fresh as acs blah, blah, blah. again we didn't have that this year do you know what i mean so still be willing to like especially this time like i haven't now i've met from my friendship group i haven't just locked off and said these my only friend no like i'm definitely more willing to meet still meet new people because i feel like we're still in kind of like the the footprint of kind of getting to know each other um so yeah definitely still do be willing to meet new people don't just kind of you met your friends in term one and that's it for life locked in no but on the flip side of that and this one i cannot stress enough is that expect this time to be much lonelier um i'm not saying this from a i'm sad miserable point of view i'm fine i'm fine please um but it's a thing where it's like subconsciously you are kind of somewhat lonelier this term like i've said before you've kind of found your routine you know living by yourself you kind of got the hang of it da, 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 da. i mean yeah you'll have flatmates but in my case well i don't really have flatmates they're all international students some of them didn't come back you know facetimes and stuff there but 
just expect it to be lonely. I feel like you won't get it until you're here, then you'll get it. Um, because uni can be a lonely place. And it's not like, like I said, it's not on a sad thing, like, oh my God, I'm depressed. No, God forbid. But it's just a thing where it's like, you get busy. This term, everyone, like everyone that I know has been very, very busy and occupied and, um, Along with time management, again, make time for your friends. But sometimes there's actually just not time for that, I'll be real. Um, so, yeah, just to kind of expect, expect time to you to be lonelier. Um, that's only if you are obviously focusing and putting your head down and kind of sh spreading yourself across different things, whether, whether it's your craft, your hobby, obviously uni, if you've got a job. Because um, I know a lot, of, a, lot of people, a lot of my friends this time got jobs um, or became very like became much more busier within their courses or their crafts so yeah don't expect for everyone just to be like yeah i'm there type of thing um when or don't expect people to be at your beck and call do you know what i mean um especially this time because everybody got a life you know what i mean ah this one i cannot express enough and that is go home go home like honestly do not do not do not think oh i'll go home at the end of time too or, or oh i'll go home i don't know i don't know i'll just d d when you as soon as you have the urge as soon as you have the incline to just incline 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 whatever as soon as you have the the gut feeling to just pack your bags and go hop on that next train coach car journey and just say mama i'm coming home do you know what i mean oh got a hammer off honestly I cannot stress this enough. Last time, I didn't go home once. Like, I literally stayed from September to December um, and went home for Christmas and New Year's, but I did not go home once. And this time, I said no. No. If it wasn't my mom's birthday, which is Valentine's Day, it was definitely gonna be Mother's Day. Either or, I was 100% going home because what? No, no, honestly, no. Like, I had missed my mom's cooking. I had missed just being at home. I had missed not paying for laundry. I just, yeah alongside go home it kind of goes hand in hand make sure you give yourself not time but make sure you give yourself the feeling to miss home and then then act on that feeling and go home do you know what i mean don't just go home because oh yeah i'm going home for the week like i know a lot of people do that um and i mean if y'all got money to do that then sure sure but i live in nottingham and downside yeah the distance yeah we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do that honestly it's way too much too far and too expensive for me to go be going home every other weekend honestly as soon as you kind of give yourself the opportunity to miss home type of thing because then when you go home it just feels even better do you know what i mean but please go home when you feel like you want to go home okay let's talk about things not to do this time don't wait till the last minute to sort out your student accommodation for next year um basically if you don't know or if you're not aware of you need to apply for student finance again <laughs> i never knew that i just thought i'm in the system great it rolls over next year ooh, we go again yeah yeah you have to sort out your student finance again you need to go through the whole process again i'm sat here i haven't done it myself but by god's grace by the time this video goes up i've done it and it's all sorted yeah we're all sorted <laughs> um but yeah all of that your student finance and stuff remember you need to sort it out and you need to pattern it asap so make sure you get that done because it is a long-winded process i to wait until the last physical humane second you have to do your your not student finance your housing and student accommodation for next year because when i say places fly off the market like that i like i was actually baffled i was so baffled but at the same time sorry i'm not now going to come and make and sort out a house accommodation with people i've just met with for two weeks do you know what i mean and all my friends who are all kind of like this we're all like ah we not barely know each other but it's like houses were on the market in like september october time like mwah, fantastic houses good price this that and the other but them times you're still in the getting to know people stage and obviously with the little miss pandemic going on it got, do you get what i mean like molding and solidifying friendships took a lot longer I'm not now come to sort our house with people I've met for three days. Do you, like, do you know, do you get it? So yeah, for us, it did take a little bit longer. Don't get me wrong, it was a tad bit of laziness from my end. Um, but um, yeah, don't, don't, don't wait to the last, 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 last minute. And if worse comes to worse and you can't find any people to live with, don't be bullied and pressured into getting a house that's the one thing we, we wanted to get a house but then like there was so much different implications and there were so many different fees that were coming up we were just like you know what year three maybe year, like yeah you know i mean maybe, maybe we'll go again then um but 
like honestly it's not that deep don't think oh my gosh oh my gosh da, 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 da. but just be aware that houses are like like accommodations going off the market do you know what i mean first years are flooding in and this is the season where everyone's patterning their student accommodation so make sure you secure yourself um so don't wait till the last minute to do that they'll do that oh <laughs> this one don't assume you'll still be buddy buddy with the people you first met at the first week of uni this is one that actually my friend told me to put this into the video um because everyone the first people that i first met i'm still friends with them they did not lie there they did not lie there i mean hey you start uni and you're in a group chat full of 20 men yeah you're thinking yeah i'm good this is my friends great we will do the next three years together do you know what i mean yeah don't 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 it's true don't actually think the same people you met in that first time you will be the same like don't get me wrong sometimes it still happens but if especially when it's a larger group expect it to slowly kind of people will go off in twos and fours and threes and yeah yeah also another thing is that don't don't press yourself to think that you should already have your friendship group like solidified and like oh my gosh these are my friends um i know a lot of people um i say a lot of people very figuratively i know a few people out there that still haven't actually you know found their friendship group um and it's not a bad thing type of thing like again like it links to the other thing that i was saying still be willing to meet friends because you never know you can meet your friend 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 in like third term and that you could be friends for like years on out guys i'm loving ice in my drink recently it's actually the best thing ever put ice in your drink yeah it takes it to a whole 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 new level okay so and the last thing I will say is you'll get to know, you'll get to actually realize in time two that your life is not your own. <laughs> like, honestly, when I say this term, if it's not lectures, if it's not studying outside of lectures, if it's not library, if it's not focusing on YouTube, photography, if it's not either or, expect to find yourself at the, stu the, at the studio at the library a lot more this term um yeah yeah that's as simple as i can put it because it is well it is well it is well like i i i've been at the library pretty much 70 percent this term and that's only because obviously half this time we were in a lockdown um but when they opened up no they, even during the lockdown it was open but it just was like restricted times and then they opened it up to like later later times like nine till midnight and stuff like that which you guys would see on my vlog channel if you're subscribed yeah guys your life is not your own you'll you'll get to know that you'll really get to know that this time because it is not easy ah ha nah then you've got one essay slapping you here you've got one module slapping you here you've got this you've got that you've got this and it's just yeah it's not it's actually it's not easy at all at all at all but again it goes into time management i feel like as soon as you pattern your time management and your discipline it will mirror and reflect into everything else you do and it's very easy to stay on top of things um and I say that very lightly. I know it's easier said than done. But it is quite easy to stay quite on top of things. But yeah, honestly, guys, I think that was it for this video. Kind of short, sweet, snappy. I always say that then. What should be like 50 minutes long? That was it for this video. If I had to choose between the two, term one or term two, I would say term one, the vibes was a lot more like... Like, I was going in, I was meeting new people, this, that, and the other. Whereas, time two, it's been very restricted. Unless I've gone out my way to meet people, it's been a little bit like, hmm okay um but time to i would say the mm, i want to say the seriousness i would i don't know i don't know i feel like every term has its own like reason why you like it um and bring on time free man honestly time free um it's a lot shorter um it's mainly exam season deadlines i mean we will still have lectures and stuff but it's not going to be the same as time two and term one um and yeah time free and um, i don't want to say it term free and then i'm actually finished with first year what how how like when i say time two i feel like i blinked and like I, i'm it was april it was march it was april like it went so quickly bear in mind i actually came back early january so i have had like the full kind of span of time two whereas i know a lot of my friends they came back like mid feb um or late jan so yeah honestly if you are in university right now first year second year third year whatever let me know how your time two was um and kind of things that you would do and not do 
kind of flood up the comments let's help each other out depending on whatever uni you are try, i'm not even gonna try uh, no i am gonna toot my own horn i feel like this time i definitely vlogged a lot more so if you want to kind of just see the actualness of time two just head over to my vlog channel and i feel like this time as well i was a lot more consistent with it i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure you give this video english it's free make sure you give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new to my channel please do hit the subscribe button it's free it's red and we are on the road to 20k so get me there yeah again if you found this video helpful beneficial in any way shape or form i feel like i've just rambled for about 30 minutes so i hope that this was somewhat helpful for you thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one i'm gonna catch y'all in term three we go again the last term thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye peace out hey <laughs>